Hey guys, it's Chrissy here with our October devotional. I've been going through a lot of my old journals recently and um, reading just things that the Lord encouraged me with in the past and realized that he was actually preparing me in many ways for this season and for this year. Um, and one of those things that was coming up again and again is the word inconvenience. I wanted to talk about that with you today. Um, in fact, just yesterday I was saying to the Lord, um, regarding this year and the season, Lord, this, this year feels like a wash. It feels like a waste in so many ways. And he was very much reminding me that that is not the truth. And um, he reminded me through this journaling. So I want to read it to you today. Here's what it said. I am the gentle shepherd, in all caps, gentle. Gentle is not fast or even convenient. If you inconvenience your schedule to be with me, there is only healing for you. Is healing inconvenient? What about rest? No, Lord, I said, have your way. Have your will, not mine. And he replied, some people never receive healing because they don't want to cooperate with me. The process is more inconvenient to them than the pain. This is never the way I plan for them. Then he says this phrase that really uh, shook me to the core. Learn to love inconvenience. It is a blessing and a gift. That's hard to swallow sometimes, isn't it? Um, just this weekend, my sons were home for homecoming for their high school. One of them had their best buddy spending the night. And um, they all came in well after I went to bed Friday night. And Saturday morning, I was ready to finish um a project that we had started really in May, which has been driving me crazy. I just really want to get it done. And that is their bedrooms and um, a bonus room. We were redecorating and um, really wanted to finish these things up. I had a whole huge list of things I was going to do that morning, um, even things I was going to do that morning with them. And uh, I thought they'd sleep in a little and I'd get started. And then I heard rumblings early that morning and I heard the Lord tell me, lay aside your plans that you had this morning. Um, and so, you know, there's always that little bit of me that um, you uh, immediately can feel uh, a little frustrated with those types of situations. But I did. I laid it aside and realized there were greater things for us that morning. They came down, sleepy heads, and we cooked breakfast. We sat across from one another at the table and had this amazing, beautiful conversation that I almost missed had it not been for that gift of inconvenience. Um, I want to read you a couple of verses. This is Jeremiah 6, 14 to 16. You can't heal a wound by saying it's not there. Yet the priests and prophets give assurances of peace when all is war. Yet the Lord pleads with you still. Ask where the good road is. The godly paths you used to walk in in the days of long ago. Travel there and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that is not the road we want. And I feel that way sometimes too. Matthew 11, 28 and 29 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. That's a promise. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble, and here we go again, gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. There's that rest again. Matthew 13, 15 says, For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. And all of these just give me this picture of really two paths. One is the path of inconvenience, and one is the path of convenience. And I just feel like we have an opportunity to turn. We have an opportunity to make the choice um, to go that path of inconvenience, which is not always uh, the easy route. It's never the easy route, but it is always beautiful. There's always rest there. He promises um, there can be healing down that path for you. There are relationships. There are amazing, beautiful things. If we just take that turn and um, make that decision to take that path. I hope this encourages you guys. Um, there are beautiful things in this season and don't let it slip by.